Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to permanently delete files so they cannot be recovered. It's called Blank and Secure. Uh, so it's a free program. You just download the executable and run it. There's nothing to install. Uh, seems to be okay. Of course, you know, use at your own risk when it comes to stuff you download off the internet. So once you have it here, you just double click it, open it up, and then you can just drag and drop uh, your files into there. So there's a reset, which will clear it, Simp delete, delete plus, you could end the program, shut down the PC, overwrite however many times you want, and then there's a delay for when it deletes it. I'm not sure why they have this, but I guess it might come in handy. I'm going to set this to one for a demonstration. Okay, so first, before we do that, we're going to uh, delete the certificate file by doing a shift delete. Okay, and that's in the e-recover directory. So now we're going to open up Recover, which is a free program you could use to recover files and see if we could restore it here. So we'll just do Documents, Specific Location. Okay, and have it do a scan, see what happens here. Okay, so you can see there's our file. It found it, and we could recover it. Put it on our desktop for now. So we got the file back. Okay, so now we're going to take the certificate to file here, drag it into the box, and we're going to delete. One second delay, and now it's gone, gone out of here. So let's open up Recover and see if we get that certificate to back. Documents. Cover folder. Okay, so you can see it just found the certificate one file. Still shows it there, even though we recovered it, but the certificate two file is nowhere to be found. And so let's also do this. I'm going to run it again with a deep scan here. Okay, so I'll let this run, then I'll pause the video and we'll see if it found it using the uh, deep scan. Okay, so the deep scan is complete and it still didn't find that certificate too, just the original certificate uh, document that we just you know deleted normally using shift delete. So it looks like it did a pretty good job at uh, permanently deleting the file here. And I just did the simple delete. And of course you could do the overwrite however many times, up to 35 times if you want. So um, I will put a link in the description where you could download this uh, program and then you could uh, use it when you need to permanently delete some files. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.